I know I said Monday or Tuesday. I'm sorry. I just wasn't feeling very up to par to do it. I was very tired. So here I am on Wednesday, but something exciting came in the mail. Remember me telling you about in my video uh, with my art studio that I was expecting Copic markers. Well, guess what? They came. I opened the box. Sorry, I kind of went. I was too excited, but they're still in the packaging. We can open it together. Yay. Okay. Oh, I didn't think this through. I should have left it in the little. So if you guys don't know, I am YouTubing, videoing off my phone because I don't have the appropriate camera type stuff and I figured I would try YouTubing before I got all those expensive cameras. So I did originally have it set up on this like thing right here. It's for when you read, you don't have to hold your phone and I used to use it all the time and I thought I could set it up to do my little Copic marker show and tail and videotape and I wasn't working because then when I showed the Copic markers, it'd be upside down and you couldn't really read the numbers or see the colors too well. So maybe I should just do it still and then just leave it. Um, just show you splotches. Maybe that would be better. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause and I will be right back. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, we're back. Okay, so much better. Now I'm hands free, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so let's open this because there was no way I could open this one handed. I ended up cutting myself. And good thing I have scissors. Oh, before I start my Copic marker stuff, I am crocheting a cat hat for one of the kids I nanny for. If you guys did not know that, I'm a nanny. I love the kids very much. Shout out to Maddie. But here's half of her hat. The other half I have to finish tonight. The little border on the bottom. It's going to be so cute. Look at these cute colors. Oh, and it smells. Did you know string can smell? I did not. It smells like patchouli. It smells like flowers. I love it though. I love hippie stuff. It smells so good. Okay. Well, I just wanted to show you that. Got it all done. It's uh, inside out. But if I flip it like this, it's not. So, yeah. Got to finish that tonight. Get it done, right? I'll get it. It's gonna be so cute. All right, back to the cupboard. Okay, let's open this together. Even though I already opened the box, I'm so sorry. All right, just make sure it's okay. Uh, all right. Maybe. All right. There we go. I don't know. This is um, Copic markers. I just thought I'm on board. You guys get too far. Yeah. I don't want to walk that far and get up. Okay. Um, uh, this is Copic marker sketch. If you did not know, 72 set D. I picked this because it had the most variety of like blues, greens, and purples and oranges because I was missing purple from my original sets that I bought. I had some blues, but they were the colors were too far off. Um, so it didn't blend well together. Same, same for the greens. A couple of them were just too far off. The yellows though, I had a great set of yellows. Sorry, I'll try not to shake the table. I had a great set of yellows and they blended really well together. Yeah. And I had a great set of browns and grays and those colors. But okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm so excited for these colors. They look so pretty. I hope they look like the picture on their thing. Okay, so let's get some paper first. You won't do it on that. Let me see. I know I have scrap, scrap, scrap paper in here somewhere. Maybe me there. I have so much floss, flossing, swatching to do. I have my Copic marker set. Oh, I didn't throw that on the floor. Yeah, this, it tells me every Copic marker there is, I think. Yeah. Hand chart color. A lot to fill in. And I don't even think I have it. And then I have my own little. Hmm, I wonder how that 
turned to that color. Okay. Well, anyway, we have this little cool chart. I write down the numbers and all that kind of stuff. So, that's fun. I gotta do that. Okay. Um, we won't use that one because that's, um, yeah. Um, we won't use that one either. Um, I know I have something in here. So, I was obviously not as well prepared as I thought I was. Let's just get it all on paper. That works. Okay. Is there something in here I can use? You know what? We'll just use this. It's it's good enough. I don't want to use my expensive paper because obviously it's expensive. So yeah, that's good. But this is not too bad. I got it at Target. It's just Expedia. It's a good brand though. It was just not super expensive, so we'll just use that. All right, so we'll start with, what should we start with? Ooh, sorry, I'm shaking a lot. New at this, remember? Okay, um, let's start. Let's start at the beginning. This is brown. Who doesn't love brown? Okay, brown eight. And if you don't know, they label brown as E. Let's just swatch this color. Ooh, okay, maybe. Exciting. We'll move on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this is dark brown. This is gonna be a really long video. I do like this dark brown. I do like that brown before though. It was very red, and I like red browns because I find that pretty. Obviously, because my hair is a red brown. Red brown, right there. So get color. Focus, camera. Focus. Focus. Whatever. You get it, right? Let's move on. This is eggshell. I thought eggs were brown or white, like that first, maybe lighter than that first one, but we'll find out. Yeah. It looks like peach. Peach. Oh, you can't even see that on the camera. What's the point then, right? I don't know. This color, I'm excited for it. It's called champagne. I thought champagne was a whitish color, but apparently they call champagne a brown color. See? See? Maybe? Okay, sorry. Let's try zooming in normal. Does that work? Does that want to focus? Nope. Nope. All right. Well, then you'll just have to trust me that's champagne. Ooh, that's a pretty one. You know what? It's almost like, um, what's that one color? Me and my husband make fun of all the time. Taupe. Taupe. Yep. Do you know that's the name of a, uh, a mole? Hey, babe. Is taupe the name of a mole? Yeah, it's the name of a mole. Who knew that? I didn't. We learned that out real fun. What? Oh, my bad. It's the color of a mole in a certain language. I don't know. But we'll just move on. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you that taupe. What color is this? I don't even know. Cocoa brown? I like those browns that are not just brown. Okay, so... Um, they look very similar. This is champagne, and that is the cocoa brown. Yeah, they look um, very similar. Well, that explains a lot. They're 71 and 74, so that means they are going to blend perfect together. I just need a color in between, or maybe a color higher. This is 79. This is called cashews. Or cat, not cashews, not pearl, it's just cashew. Okay. Oh, I love this brown. I wish my hair was this color. I almost picked this color over red a while ago before all this quarantine stuff happened. It would have been like way more black, but there it is. It's so hard to see. Why won't my camera focus? How come no one helps me with this? I just don't know. I'm not good with technology. Okay. I don't know why it won't focus. I thought this stuff did it automatically. Apparently not. I think I have this. No, I don't have this color. This is T Rose. Rose is pink in French, if no one knew that. I learned that already. Oh, it's so hard to see. I'm sorry, that light is, maybe if I turn this off or down. Oh yeah, okay. There's the black lines. I don't know if anyone sees them. There's the black lines. Okay, yeah. 
Um, is that easier to see? I don't know. Is that one right there? I'm already 10 minutes in. Oh my goodness. Now it's so dark over here. Okay, let's see. Do you want to see a tea orange? Tea, 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 tea. Okay. Yeah, tea orange. It's just orange. There it is. Right there. That one. Oh, sorry. Obviously, this light is super, ref this paper is super reflective. Can you, see, can you see that? It's actually pretty orange, but let's just move on. Okay, so there's a deep orange. Does anyone want to see a deep orange or baked clay? Does, sorry, here. Let's just look at a fluorescent dull violet. I don't know how it's fluorescent and dull at the same time, but we'll test it out and see. Yeah, let's, let's see if that's really a thing. Sorry, I think my camera keeps moving. I keep shaking the table. Okay. Ooh, I do love purple. And it's so pretty. I can't wait to make something in purple. Look, oh, that looks blue on camera-ish. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe if I help them find the purple. They're obviously good. The rest are purple. Okay, let's move on. A fluorescent pink. One thing you'll learn about me, I do not like pink. Especially fluorescent pink. Ugh. But we'll test it anyways. I do like maroons. And like a dark pink. Ooh, this is highlighter pink. I don't know if you... No, you can't see it. Okay, I'll show you. It's highlighter pink. Oh yeah, I don't like that. I probably won't use this very much. Maybe small touches here and there. But yeah, let's look at fluorescent orange. I don't like orange either. Yeah, it's a highlighter color. This is exactly what it would sound like. I don't like bright colors. If anything, I like earthy neutral colors or pastels. Yeah, I don't really care for that one too. Oh, it's so bright. That It's so fluorescent that you can't even see it. Oh, look at that. Let's try the yellow. I bet it will look like a highlighter. It, it does, yep. Actually, it's not as bright as a highlighter. I lied, I'm sorry. This is, um, let's dry a little bit. Because when it's wet, it looks slightly different, especially when you just color. Uh, actually, I really like this yellow. It's actually very pretty. Do you see that? Oh, it's very bright on camera. It does, it, in, in person, it doesn't really look that bright. It's actually a, a lot duller. D dull, duller? Dull, dull, dull. Yeah, see? Oh, it's not that bright. It's really pretty in person. But it's definitely fluorescent. It pops off that page. That would be really pretty on some black paper. I do have some black paper. Maybe I should try on some black paper. That'd be pretty. This is fluorescent green. Oh, no. That was fluorescent yellow orange. That's why it was so pretty. Because it wasn't just straight up yellow. It was two colors mixed. That's why it's not as bright. That would not make sense. Okay, let's move on. Fluorescent yellow. That is a highlight. That's what I thought that one was going to be. Ugh. Sometimes these markers are really caps are hard to keep on. Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, you can barely even see that on camera because my lighting here is like... Do you see that? Look how bright that is. It's like, um... Yeah, it's really bright. Okay. For all... Oh, we have another fluorescent and dull color together. Let's try it out. It's, these are highlighter colors. I didn't even know this packing with highlighter colors. I have highlighters. I didn't need to pay for more. But I'll use them whenever. Okay, that's the green. It is what it is. It's a bright but not fluorescent. I don't know how to explain that. But it's not. Yeah. You saw. Fluorescent. For, oh, this is going to. How many times can I say this? Okay, it's a dull. Blue, it says BG. I'm assuming blue green. Let's just test it out because I have no idea. Nope, it's just highlighter. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to bend the corner because I can't get it off the desk with my nails. So there's that blue. Yep, highlighter blue. This is just fluorescent dull blue. The other one was fluorescent dull BG. I don't. 
uh, oh, I love this color. FB2. What is F? What does F stand for? Those fluorescent colors? Those are. I had no idea they had fluorescent colors on here. I just thought that just meant something else. I guess that's what I get for not reading and looking into the colors I'm buying. It's just going off of what I like. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Alrighty, now that we're done with all those, we'll move on to the more pretty colors. Okay. Whoa. Sorry. I, I can't imagine what it'd be like to watch this. I will upgrade to a better camera eventually. I promise the videos will all be this way. Okay, let's move on. Aqua blue. Do you guys want to see aqua blue? I sure do. I love the color blue. My favorite color though is yellow. A baby yellow. Like, or a butter yellow. Something that's, it's yellow, but it's not bright. It's very soft. I don't ever wear yellow though. I do have a yellow dress and it's like fluorescent and it's really bright and I think I've ever worn it twice. And I feel like a walking, I was gonna say traffic cone, but traffic cones are orange. What's fluorescent? That's yellow, that's bright. It's a vest? I'm a walking vest? I don't know, but I don't like it. I don't know why I bought it. It was really cute, but it was too bright. That one I don't know. This aqua blue though is sure pretty. Okay. Let's show you. Right there. It's on aqua blue. What is what do we mean? These colors are pretty on par. I mean Yeah, that matches the cap. I forgot to like let you guys know that. Like sometimes there's markers out there and there's like the cap color and then there's the actual color of the marker. And they don't match at all, and then you start coloring, and you're like, oh snap, uh, yeah, those, that was not the color I asked for. Sorry, I will, I'll just keep my hands off the table, because I'm shaking it. Yeah, but this is, this is that aqua blue, oh, you just can't, it, it just won't. Ooh, like my nails, my nails, they change color, oh, you can't see. Well, they're blue, and then if you change them towards a the light, they look purple, so... Yeah, so, I mean, it matches. You can tell right here on, on the camera, it, like, matches pretty well. It is kind of hard to see because of that light. Maybe I'll have to do something about that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But... Oh, but you want to see a color that doesn't match the actual color? Let me grab my uh, other watercolor base markers. Let's, let's look at that. Let's do, let me get another piece of paper for this because I don't want to do my Copic marker. Oh, let's do this. You want to see this? That was that, that giraffe I was telling you about? Okay, now, um, this is how I pick my colors for my uh, drawings and um, everything. Yeah, so if you want to see that, uh, don't mind the blue and the greens and yellows because that was for another project. That was for the zebra. Go check that out on Instagram, Nicole Carey Art. At Instagram, follow me. Yeah, you'll like it. You see, see the giraffe? See, I, I kind of just did a quick sketch on what I thought I wanted and I didn't like the orange with it. So I just went back to the pink and pink. But I really like that darker pink that I used. It looks really good. Okay, so we'll, oh, I need that. Okay, see this color? Yeah, that's the color I just showed you. That is that is nothing alike. No, look, look, that is like so much darker. Yeah, I colored with that once and I started coloring with it and I thought it was the color and I was like, I just messed up my drawing because I used the wrong color because I didn't test it beforehand. And I do love these markers. These are just Artist Loft water dual tip markers. I love them but I don't because they don't have any color names on them or numbers. Oh yeah, you wanna see the purple? See this pretty purple? I was like, oh yeah, I like that purple. See, see how pretty it is? See, 
kind of protected from the light because it's the shine. Okay, yeah, it's nothing like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Actually, this one's pretty close. Maybe. I thought this was the one I was talking about. Do you see that second purple? This, I guess it's similar. Yeah, but I don't know. It's not the purple it shows. And then you start coloring and you're kind of like, well, I don't know what to do now because obviously I was not um, paying attention to the colors I was using and not testing it out beforehand. So, yeah, let's just close up the watercolor ones, or the water. But these ones, I saw a cool t trick with these ones. I'll have to show you later because I don't want this video to be too long. So, yeah, moving on. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to just skip over these blues and greens. They have a gold color. Let's see if it's actually gold. That would be so cool. Okay, so. Let me just layer it on a little bit. To see what happens. Okay, and I'm going to test out this other color, Iris. Let's see how pretty this color is. We're doing the chisel side. Oh, boy. I... Oh, I think that matches pretty well, too. So, here's this Iris color. Oh, well, obviously not because this lamp makes it... Look, those would look exactly the same color. I know, pretty cool. A little disappointed. So, the cap shows like a metallic glittery gold i mean i guess technically it's the same color but that's definitely not metallic or glittery gold so let's let's do my sharpie let's compare it to a sharpie let's see what that looks like okay ready I do it itty bitty because I did it in one I have a lot of colors, but look, that's what I thought it was going to look like. Right? Oh, that's so hard to see. I thought it, for those of you that know, I thought it was going to be like a Sharpie metallic gold Sharpie, but it's not. It's just gold color, but not Sharpie. Metallic. It wasn't like metallic. Yeah, okay, moving on. Back to our colors. There's this blue. I'm going to admit, I, I, I uh, don't know how to pronounce this word. It's probably a really easy word. If you guys don't know, I am dyslexic. So I get letters and numbers confused sometimes when I read. And I'm looking at this word. And my brain can't figure out how to pronounce it because it can't figure out the correct sounds that are supposed to go into this word. And that's just part of me being dyslexic is that when I read a word, even though it might be something I know, I just can't, I just don't know how to say it because, yeah, it, um, my brain can't recognize the sounds that it's supposed to make. So we'll just, we'll just test it and move on because... But it is a pretty blue. Oh yeah. Let's look at this blue. Okay. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's just, oh, it matches my nails. No wonder I like it so much. Okay. Yeah. That's a good color. I really like this green too. Green gray. It's very earthy looking. Let's test that out. Oh, yeah, I like this green. This is a good green, too. Okay, see? See? Good green. Good green. I know. I'm sorry. I'm bad at this. I'm so early. Okay. It's such a pretty green, though. Okay, moving on. Next one. I don't know if this video has my other... I, I tried to up the resolution, and it would only let me do so long a video, so let's see if this one does it, too. This is a pretty green, too. This is... Bush. Bush. Bush green. That's it. Okay. Pretty simple. So blurry. Why is it so blurry? My gosh, it's just like hold the phone. Why why won't it focus? I don't understand. Okay, moving on. Pale porcelain. Oh. Nope. Nope, not the same word. See? Dyslexic. My brain 
thought the other one was porcelain, but they're not even spelled the same. I mean, they both start with P, but, and they both have L's. And that's it, yeah. My brain thought the other, let's see, there it is. Doing what it does best, mix things up in my head. That sounded really bad, it just mixes letters. That's why I thought the other one was a porcelain, but yeah, so. I don't know. Never mind, I'm just gonna keep testing markers. This one is so white, I wonder. Okay, let's just let that one dry and I'll test another one and get it ready. We all know what royal blue looks like. What do we want to see a soft greenish blue? Does anyone know what that looks like? Oh, I love this color too. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. I'm going to test two colors at the same time because it takes a minute for them to dry. Okay. So here's that porcelain blue, pretty sky blue, right? Okay. And then here is that oh, soft greenish blue sorry i couldn't remember the name there it is very pretty oh that kind of matches my nails in the picture too a little bit yeah there's some color okay let's see a pale blue gray um i can't read what that says i know it's a flower but i don't know how to pronounce it so let's just move on it's a purple Yeah, we will really try. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now that I'm a little discouraged because my dyslexic is getting down, and I'm on video, so I'm nervous, and that doesn't help at all either. Well, this goes a strong red because in my other side I have these reds, and they were turning out pink, and I didn't really like them. So let's try a strong red. Because I do love the color red. This is a nice red, actually. Where did this go? Oh, there. Okay. Nice, strong red. There's lots of colors in here. I could be here all night. Yeah. Maybe I won't be able to finish that for him. No, I'll get it done. I'll do another couple minutes. What is this color supposed to be? I don't Dumb words. Dumb language. Okay. No, I don't mean that. It's like a purple brown. Can you see? Oh, let me hold it, hold it up. Why is it not focusing? Focus, camera, focus. Do you think, does anyone else talk to this stuff and then hope they just like, it starts working because you just don't know how to get it to work? Yeah, that's me. I just yell at stuff sometimes. I'm just like, why aren't you working? Here's cashmere. Do you want to see what a cashmere looks like? Uh, I don't know. Let's let it dry for a minute because sometimes that my my desktop right here is black, so it makes the color look different when I color on a paper. Let's do this dull lavender. I bet that would be pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay. So let's go over the cashmere. We'll hide the dull lavender. Cashmere. Dull lavender. Actually, the cashmere looks just not as bright as that orange. Right. Well, okay, you can't see. Oh, no, still can't see. But looking at it, sorry. Oh, okay, I, I lied. I'm not colorblind, I promise. I know of my colors. I actually have a very good visual of what colors, different hues, different shades, different. I, I'm good at seeing the difference in colors. Ooh, I like this. This is a pretty color. Yep. Alrighty. I don't. I don't know the name. Yep. Yeah. And because I'm on camera, I'm going to try and see. Yep. Yeah. I, I can't try to read it. Maybe. What am I supposed to be getting back this letter? Because I'm not trying to sound out the words. If I was here with like no one, no camera or anything, I would try, and I'd have to do it a couple times to get the correct sounds to make the correct word but we'll just skip that yeah see this color look how pretty it is i know it's kind of like pink but not it's more of a pinkish purple color i think let's see it on the paper oh where is it oh there it is see it's actually kind of pretty 
don't know. That would have looked really good with my giraffe, I think, maybe. Maybe I should do another one. Hmm. Pale grape? It looks pink. Nope, it's purple. Let's let it dry and see if that matches the color. A light grape. Let's see the difference between these two. What's the number difference? 91 and 95. Okay, so just a couple shades. All right, this does not match the cap color. That is for sure. It is a pretty color though, but it does not match. Right, we'll go over this one because this one's pretty much dry. All right. See this? Oh, hard to see, but it matches. Look at that. It like matches perfectly. This is the pale grape. Now, ready? Here's the pale. Oh, I'm sorry, light grape. Here's the light grape on paper. Those are nothing alike. Look how much darker that one is. It's still pretty though, but it's definitely not the color on the cap. All right, let's do a couple more colors and then I will. Sorry. I will. In the video for tonight yep and then maybe i'll just make another video of an artwork i'm doing once i get a good camera set up where i can show you guys what's on my desk here without it being upside down or blurry because for some reason the phone just won't focus who knows yeah okay i like this yellow this yellow is um a light reddish yellow. I don't see red in this, but um, it's darker for sure on the paper, but pretty close. We don't have to do a comparison. See how just see how mellow this yellow is. Mellow yellow. Yep, that's the color. Okay. I have to say crisscross applesauce. Okay. This is my workout clothes for today. We went on a bike ride, about 40 minutes. Longer than that, actually. 25 plus 17. So 20. That's actually about 40 minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. About 40 minutes. And, yeah, it was a workout. Okay. Let's move on. Iridescent mop, mop, mop. I think that's how you say it. Supposed to be a pretty purple. Let's test it out. Is mop? What color is a mop? Oh, I'm using my phone. No, I was about to find my phone to test what color mop is. I think that's what mop is. I don't know. Okay, there's that color though. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's move on. Hurry. Heath. What is a heath color? Ooh, it's a pinkish purple, but it's, I like it. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I can really get behind this purple color. All right, so looking at all these like hydrania, hydrania blue. How was that one color I couldn't figure out how to say? See, I knew once I said the color in my head a couple times, I'd figure it out. That's normally what happens. I just have to say like different versions of the word because my brain is trying to process the letters it's seeing and the sounds they're supposed to make when they're paired with other vowels and making sure that my brain's not confusing certain letters together because sometimes it does that. Hydrania, hydrania, hydrania. That's a flower. I knew it was a flower. Just couldn't remember how to say it, but yeah, that's it. That's it. This color is so pretty. Okay, comment below what you think I should do next that's purple. An animal. I can't draw people. I guess I could do food, but that'd be kind of rare. I don't know. I've never drawn food before, but help me think of an animal that I should do that's purple, that I should do purple. It could be anything, really. What color should I do purple? Ooh, what animal? I don't know. I'd have to think. I'd have to, like, just search animals. Whale? What do you mean about a whale? But whales are like two colors, really. I 
unless I did it a purple tie-dye whale. Make it a hippie whale with a bright... Let me see something. I think I just got a good idea, guys. Good idea. I know exactly what I'm going to do for my next art project. Are you guys ready? I am going to do a purple whale. And it's going to have a fluorescent bandana tied around its fin that's tie-dye as well. It's just going to be a whole page of tie-dye because I love tie-dye. Yeah, so there it is. Okay, there's that pretty purple that I like so much. Yep, mm-hmm. And I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do cer per certain shades of purple and I'm going to do fluorescent colors because I actually think that would go very well together. I just got to make sure I do the right purples and not not the wrong purples. Let's just test this purple out because I'm curious. A dark, uh, a deep reddish blue. Ooh, this is a good color too. There's so many good colors in this pack. Man. Alrighty, look at that. That's so pretty. I love these colors. They're so pretty. Okay, let's do mimosa yellow. I thought mimosas were orange because of orange juice, but let's test it out. Ugh. This is like green. This isn't even yellow. The cat color is the perfect yellow, but this is like green. It's like lime green. What is this shenanigans? Oh, that's why. Because it's YG, which means it's green and yellow mixed together. So, Not the cap color for sure. We'll show you that one. That one is uh, a no match. Uh, well, I guess on camera it matches. But in person, this is like green. And this is yellow. Yellow. This is like the perfect yellow. I would love this. But it's green on. Right next to it, this is yellowish green. Do I already have a yellowish green? This is six. I don't. Hmm. Let's test this one out. Uh, okay, that one mimosa yellow is looking less green and more yellow, but not like the cap it's it's a bright yellow but here's this yellowish green i would not say that's a yellowish green i said that's more like a lime green i have a lime green i think is that what this is sorry that was really loud probably oh no this is a yellow green okay never mind what is this color oh i do have a lime green i knew i had a lime green lime green okay do you see how dull that color looks I know, it's really hard to see. Here, how about this? Do you see how dull that is? Okay, that's not lime. Lime greens is like... Limes are bright, actually. It's like that color. This is more like a... What color would I say this is? I want to say it's a mossy green? I think it's more like a sea green. I wonder if they have a sea green. Let's see. Um, greenish olive, greenish yellow. Uh, ocean green, forest green, Nile green, yellow green. So I don't have a moss green. What color did I say again? Did I say it was a moss green? Well, anyways, that's that top one. That that's just, this is what it says that lime green is. This is more of a lime green, right? Lime, lime, not lime. No, I think their words were off a little bit. Okay. So I'm at forty minutes. I'm going to stop because I don't want to probably bore you all to death if you're bored. If you're not bored, comment below and tell me you want more of this interestingness and I have a ton of colors I have 72 and I only did I don't think you want to hear me count but yeah I, I only did this many that's not that many so if you like this video 
like it, first of all, and subscribe down below, right? It's down below. Is that what everyone does? Down below. Yeah, so subscribe and like and comment that you want this more colors again and I'll give you more colors and I can even do my other markers too. And yeah, and you can even look how I organized it. I'm such a good organizer. Okay, well, have a good night. I gotta go finish a hat and I really wanna sort these colors. But I don't know, we'll see. I'll see you guys later. Bye, have a good night.